Howdy, howdy, everybody. Uh, before we start, I just want to say I uh, I did not mess up my settings correctly, so you can barely hear me in this episode. I'm really sorry. I, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I'm trying to fix it, uh, so hopefully next episode will be fine. Uh, but yeah, sorry. Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome back to the Death Road to Canada. Uh, sorry about the... Oh, nothing upload for the past few days. But my computer, my old computer, my Asus 2016 cracked out on me. And I literally just couldn't make it work. Couldn't make the hard drive, it was completely fried. And a bunch of other stuff just wasn't working on the thing. And I just couldn't make it work. So I had to get a new only thing. And that surprisingly didn't take too long, because I had a friend help me out with that. This is trying to find something. And it worked pretty well. And it's, really, it's a lot better than the computer I had. So hopefully, we can experience some more things on this channel. Maybe some VR stuff. Maybe we don't have VR. I'd like to get around with it. But my computer was always really shitty. So I never bother trying to record anything like that. So I could barely even play anything like that. No, but now I'm trying to do that. So, who knows? We'll give that a try in the future. But for now, we gotta go back to everyone's favorite, favorite family, who, unfortunately, last episode bit the dust. That's okay, because, you know, every family deserves a second chance. And normally, when I play this game, and I switch it to a different computer, all the settings, all the characters just disappear, delete, they're gone. But this time, to sheer joy in my heart, we still got Mom. Mom is still here. Everyone's back, baby. Batchfeet's back, so we're throwing Mom in there. And damn it, we're throwing Dad in there, too. And you know what? You know what I got the four drinks, bro? Because we gotta find our kids. Dad didn't get enough of a good enough showing last time. It was really depressing. Now I need to find everybody again. This is the hardest part. Where is my son? Son, I mean, he's a really dumb face, so he shouldn't be too hard to spot. But somehow he is. Also short. So that... Oh, there he is. The son! Come on, son. His daughter around. I have no idea. I forget what she looks like. Uh, she's a girl. Um, that's all I got. That's all I got to work with. I don't know who she is. Um, you think after such a heartwarming tale, I think that's her. Yeah, that's daughter. There you go. Took me a second to figure out who my daughter was, but you know what? That's fine. It's like when you go to a hospital, trying to take someone's baby, you swap babies, you're like, I don't want my kid. My kid's got type A blood, I want type B blood. So it's just kind of meant to be. But this, this is our family. And we can't go to Yalmart, unfortunately, according to this thing. So we can go to a hotel, we can get some nice Z's in. We can go to the factory, or I guess I can show my son the hard work of labor at a very young age. Or we can go to a rest stop immediately. Just pick up all, pick some, some quick snacks, some gas, as usual. We have our gun, so there's really nothing to worry about. We actually have our six guns, but let's face it, the only one of these guns matters. And those are, that's the left arm of Dad. He, he doesn't work out his right arm. It's significantly weaker than the other one. He doesn't explain why, though. It's very weird. That's why he's that's why he's only got one heart. He's very confused. But we're going in. Okay, I hope he almost just died for the first day. We're good. Wait, are you okay? Oh yeah. So yeah, I think I'm good. it's just good to be back doing this one, I gotta say. I really enjoy just playing games since not being able to do that for a couple of days. Kind of blue. Play games to my heart's content. So this thing's huge, by the way. Like, my other computer is like, nothing compared to this thing. It's fucking huge. <laughs> okay, maybe we, maybe we do this reasonably. Son? Son, take the bullets for me. I don't want to die. I'm too old to die. Shotgun. You know, now, I don't want to ride in the back with my son. No? Oh my god. I need to be a lot more cautious playing this game. Alright, we 
They got everything they possibly could. Let's get out of here. We don't need to do that. Let's get the tourist traps. <laughs> Tara has a purse. I'm over it. <laughs> See you later, losers. This car is a significant downgrade in looks to what we had before. That's fine. Fire. How did this happen? The group goes against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. What was the judgment? Like, oh, you know, there's that bonfire back like, back on the bottom floor, but you know, the fourth floor is pretty far away from the first floor. Right? I think we'll be fine. Just get out of there. Who plans and leads the escape? Well, he has terrible composure. She, son has a good attitude, but horrible wits. Uh, well, you know, let's have mom do it. Mom, god damn it. The dad is heroically saved by the mom. Good for them. Oh, because they would have just died immediately. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank goodness. Alright, we are all a-okay. There's nothing to worry about. Family is still in one piece. Tree in the room. God damn it. How many... It's the first day! And anarchy is struck like a freaking brick in a window. We can't plow through it or dad is gonna die. Shooting it... Maybe it might actually work. Hey! <laughs> there we go. We lost a little bit of ammo. That's okay. See, so, you know, we got road. We got open road ahead of us. Couldn't, couldn't we all just get along? Sure we could. We're a family. Click looting. The group drives through a city that hasn't been completely overrun. You look for supplies to stock up for the journey. When driving to the city, the group spots a coffee shop or a police station. Uh, we're gonna go to the police station, baby. We need weapons. Daughter's got a shotgun and a purse. She's rock. You know, she can rock that setup. I like that setup. I've got a pistol and a knife. My wife has got a scalpel, and my son has a hockey stick and a frying thing. He's gonna cook some eggs. Still needs that cookbook. But we'll get it together. For now, let's just go to some people's houses. Please, please don't die. <laughs> The aim of this episode is to not let the dad die. He has severe health problems, and just a breeze will knock him over, despite his pure bulk. So we gotta really keep an eye on this guy. Why did that guy's face? Now he doesn't have a face. He had a weird face. Get out of the way! What are you doing? Chess! Son! Come on! Show me your moves! Never gonna make it in the chess world, son. Okay. Oh, it's food! That's food! For so once we're gonna be eating good tonight, it's actually gonna be food. We're just gonna be suckling on a gasoline can for sustenance anymore. <laughs> Throw the bed. Timmy! Get this grave, it's 3.15 in the answer. Go to bed! Rebelling. I'm so proud of him. There's gotta be something weird on this particular Flip the chair. Give me this. Get out of here. I'll take the porcelain throne. Thank you. I can't pick it up. Okay. That's fine. Chess master. No. Chess master. Yeah, chess master. Yeah, get away from my car. Uh oh, I didn't even notice the guy was running into for a good second. Okay, I'm not playing this smart at all. We're fine. Because you know what? We got a bed. Who needs to play smart? Maybe we need to play sleep. Oh no! Get on people anymore, son. Get over yourself. Stop beating the heads in. Well, now it's now it's justifiable, son. Oh wow, that um, weird. Nope, not nope. Nope, it's also wrong. Well, we're shooting our way. Daughter, get the shotgun. You gotta get out of here. To Buttville Police!
once again. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Alright, once again. Hello, sir. And goodbye. Oh, Katana! My daddy likes his animals. He's one of the punches. He's, uh... He's yee-haw ba ba Let's get out of here. This time ain't big enough for the one of me. We gotta get out of here. Still can. We've done enough, boys. Good job. It's like a taco. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no. You best bug off. Yeah. Oh, the guitar. Come on, kids. Get in the van. We gotta get out of here. Start a new life. Canada. Alright, I got seven food, two gas. Only two gas, that's not good. We're only at least in like ten, right? Why well, couldn't have been a werewolf apocalypse? At least then there'd be werewolves. I don't know if you want werewolves. Bandit watch. Someone needs to be awake. You should stay up on watch. Uh son. I trust you. Trust you more than anyone in this group. Even my wife. Good work. He's got loyalty of a moderately pleased individual. This is sure to be one. He's tired. He's always tired. Look at his face. I'd be tired of looking at fire that face. The car's running fine, but an error code shows up on the dashboard. The group has no idea what's wrong, so they pull over to see what's up. Uh, just inspect it. This is the loose gas cap. Easy to fix. There we go. See, it's fine. Everything's AO crystal. I'm the dad. I know what I'm doing. I'm the dad. And we got a trading post. Oh. Are we sure this is a trading post? This is just Coachella or something. Alright, well, either way, is it? Get away from my car. Random common recruit. Oh. Well, I have a lot of sample points. I don't want to hold it so well. Ah, uh, we can. What? Come on, please. We gotta help this poor old man. Show me the he's got. Fire sale, everything must go. Wow, this is a pretty good deal, I think. We need food, though, so we can't really do that. Oh, but I trust him. Oh, I thought that was my car. It was the only one not on fire, okay? Come on, kids, where are you at? We're gonna leave those two to it. <sighs> nice, relaxing car. The coop finds a new person. Hyun. Hi. One. Hi on. He in. He in. She's alone and wants to join the team. He in claims to be a great shot with a gun. She refuses to prove she's a good shot because her finger hurts right now. Get out of my face. I'd replace you with my son if he wasn't listening to the conversation. Trapped in a house. We're already in a siege. Oh, wow, look at that. Very large moon, one hour. Ah, we'll be fine. Son. Now it's time to whip out that rifle. I'm trading you for it. I trained for you last time. It kind of worked. They also didn't shoot anybody with it. But I'm sure this time you won't make the same mistake. And I'll take a flashlight just in case we need to see. Oh, it's 12. Oh, <laughs> it's time to serve. Oh, you have tons of weapons being the furniture. You can't carry any swords. Less weapon than I thought we would have. It's still a good amount. I still do adjust. Books are out. There's nothing to fear when Dad is here. Yeah! Okay, if you read them all this way, you can go around and see Jones. Blind them! They can't see us! They can't kill us! Do a rave! Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just 
to see. Get ready. We're, we're good. We set to clear out. More fun. Do you want to leave? Absolutely. Easy enough. Look at that. That went so smooth. Son, get that gun out of your damn hands. <laughs> you did shoot five bullets. Those are probably very important bullets. Good for Son. Plus one to all of Son's skills. He did. He did prove a lot, didn't he? He proved his, his worth. And I feel like Sun knows that it's the group that matters. Uh, and then doesn't care anyway. So he's just gonna boost the shit out of himself. So this dude... This dude's going places. He's gonna be the new dad. He's gonna be their generation's the dad. That's huge. We need to prepare that man. Look at all the stats. Look at everyone's happy. Everyone's fine. No more creepy pastas, baby. Our pasta is perfectly normal. We're gonna be fine. The Ruby the decent meal. Tell scary stories? Hell no. We gotta go to sleep. I'm not gonna be tired again. Oh, we're out of gas. Gas? Okay, dog poop. Sorry. Let me, let me say this in a little bit more of an uh, you know, emotional, theatrical way. To their horror! It turns out there's a dog poop sitting right on the handle of the supply box. There's no way to open it without touching the poo. This could be the biggest challenge yet. Absolutely open, actually. This is really gross. This could be a big deal. My, no, my son knows no bounds. But he's, he's, been, he's been doing a lot for us. You know, daughter? Yeah, I get it now. You got it. Oh. Oh, yeah, she's a friend of dog. I forgot. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> I almost... I did not remember that that was her perk at all. Oh wait, no, she's not. She's a pathfinder. In fact, the son is the friend of dog. So why did she like it? The daughter loves dogs and is no stranger. That's not how that works. Who's the other guy? We know she loved it. She loved feeling up some poop. We're out of gas. Bro, he did be careful with supply of gas. You say that? Oh, whoa! Hey! hey. <laughs> wow! The, the gods have spared us today. Alright, city row with car. Free car! Hell yeah, free car. Hunt, it's near sunset, so I'm gonna hold on to my flashlight. Um, I know I'm putting in a knife, because I don't like cooler things. What? Sigh. Oh. Oh, I can the freaking Buttsville police. That's what I've always wanted to be. Alright, we got it. We'll be fine, boys. We got Alice. Quicken out, quicken out, quicken out. No, no, no. <sighs> Car is completely run out of gas. Car. Cool. <laughs> Dad says cool it as last words. Hmm. Uh, all food and gas. We don't have much gas. We have a lot of food, though. We can't die. We can't. That's. Which the whole point of the episode is to keep the dad alive. We can't. We just can't let that happen. You have to give in to the demands. It's, it's the principle of, of the thing we're doing. Oh, we're fucking dead, dude. <laughs> we are without a shadow of a doubt. Dead men walking. Let's go. Fight! Come on. We're on single file. More gas. Son, get in. Jeez. 
139 gas. If only we had food. Oh, I'll always be looting. Oh, look at that. Oh boy, City Road with car. That would have been nice. A second ago. <laughs> uh, seems Dad's dream was right. There is a car. I swear, kids, there's, there's the Buttsville police car. Over there. I, I, I sense it with my, with my beam powers. We almost just died to a zombie that wasn't even visible. Come on, kids, we gotta go. Take the bed and eat it! Nice, good work. Fucking playing big ball with that thing. Come on, beat his head in. Jeez, dad, you're going, you're going soft already, man. Better than that. You have a gun on your side. Tire. Fuck you, buddy. I'm out. Up, 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 um. There we go. This time, boy. There's nothing in this stupid house. This is food. food. We at least ate food in order for this to be a successful trip. Oh my god. Someone is gonna die. It ain't gonna be dead. That's for sure. I refuse to let Dad die. The whole aim of this is to not let us to keep him alive. My dumb moon can do it. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to keep using him. Just let him die. Go away. Not feck. Okay, we're in a... We're in a pickle and a rick right now. Killed everything behind us, now we should kill what's in front of us. Come on, son. Put those glutes to work. Work. Let me see work. Alright, there's one more building. This one has to have the keys in it. We need something that's not an ice cream bag. All the zombies keep running up to our freaking car. Expecting some freaking mint chocolate chip. We don't have mint chocolate chip. We only have raspberry. Fine, nothing to worry about. I'm just gonna skate right past these guys. Oh, I'm just gonna skate right past these guys. Ooh, come on. Oh, there's food! Suck it, loser. Get chimp lead. Get out of here. Get out of town. Get out of town. Let's get out of town. Get out of here. This is business. More door. Oh, that's a good room. You know how you know, I say we just get the hell out of here. I don't think it's very worth it. Yeah, let's get in this one. You know what? We leave this. Okay. And there we go. We made it out alive with a little bit more gas, enough food to survive another day, and some clothes on our backs. By gum, I think that's enough. So, I'm gonna call it there. Dad lived. I'm just gonna say it. Dad lived. He's still alive. He didn't just lived. He's living. And, hopefully, within these 12 days remaining of Christmas, of course, uh, we will see him thrive and survive. He may have had a bad dream, but we're gonna ignore that, alright? We don't. We don't talk about bad dreams. It scares him. It's a very frail heart. Look at that thing. What was that? Thank you all for tuning in again. And I will continue to do a mostly very regular upload schedule from here on out. Hopefully. I'm really hoping I can. Uh, but everything set up now, so it should be good. I'm really sorry again for missing the past few days. And I hope you all have a fantastic, stupendous, marvelous rest of your day. Goodbye now.